March 29th, 2022. 7.17, just turned, sorry, 7.18 p.m. That's the criminal. Spraying as usual. Things are starting to clear up. Not the best, but still a little bit clearer. And then you got this ever so. Just look at these real clouds they got going on right here. Looks like they're dumping poison. Just love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love these clouds. They're just so real looking. Put that down. Get this on there. Yep, you can see that spot right there. Right up at the top left. Brighten it up, nope. Dim it down. Can't see the other one. I didn't grab it fast enough. Oh well. I got it earlier. Yeah, you could you guys can tell that it was totally different from when it was sun up right after sunrise to when it was like in the afternoon time to right now. Well, we're past seven o'clock. You can see that dot. That dot was down on the bottom half of the of the sun. Now it's up on the top half. It's like looking at the watching the moon flip over. Guess what? The sun does not flip. The sun spins. And if you can't get over that, then you have a problem. You can see it by just, anybody can see it with like a Nikon camera. I see it all the time. People will zoom in on Jupiter and you can literally watch the moons go across the front of Jupiter, put a shadow on it and go around to the other side. They do time lapses of that. So yeah, it's not flat. It's not a flat plate. Everything's round. You can even see in the nighttime when the moon is just a, a certain crescent and you can see it. You can see the shadow. I recorded it plenty of times. You can see the shadow of what is the moon and you can tell that where we're at, our planet is shading the moon and only an edge of it is getting the sunlight. So yeah, I'm not going to debate that with anybody. If you can't do a logical test yourself and put a big basketball and use the tennis ball as the moon and use a, a concentrated like a LED light pointing at the planet, which would be the basketball, and then put the moon in its perspective and cast a shadow on it, you guys will see that that's what makes the crescents to where it makes it waxing and then waning is the opposite. If you can't do that, then you pretty much, there's no hope for you in even trying to wrap your head around the round theory at all. Your mind is stuck on that. I've already seen everything. Oh, wow, there's bugs flying in front. I've already seen all there is to see about flat earth. And I've lived on the other side of the earth. And it was down on the islands. And at high tide, you could not see the houses down by the shore because the, the ocean swells up. You have to go up the side of the hill of the, of the island 
to get up well over a thousand feet just to be able to look back down and see it. So that shows you that there's curvature in the water. When the moon comes by, it curves. And when it's low tide, you can see it. That's because the moon's on the other side of the planet pulling. So if people have forgotten that, sorry to burst your bubble. You guys need to go back and find a real book and quit watching this Google stuff. Because a lot of this stuff is missing out of Google. They just don't put it in there. It's just the way it is. All right. That'll do it. Peace out.